All right, <clears throat> so I got I gave myself a headache probably doing karaoke, which honestly those songs weren't that intense, but I still gave myself a headache somehow. So I called Brett and I said, I need food. I need food. Do you want anything? She said, no, Jake, I'm okay. Save yourself, save yourself. So I went and got myself P. Terry's. Oh. So you know what time that is. It means it's, it's, it's mukbang time. It's mukbang time. It's, 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 what am I looking for? Okay. Mukbang time. P. Terry's, I always get something pretty basic. It's usually double cheeseburger. Uh, today, I just got a cheeseburger because I didn't want to upset my stomach because I didn't want to go, I didn't want to go crazy with it, but I also got a lemonade and a little bit of a chocolate shake. I don't imagine I'll finish the chocolate shake, but it's it's there. It's a mukbang, which is always a great time. A P. Terry's mukbang is pretty much the only mukbang I ever do. I feel like it's been a minute since I had a burger. Mmm. I'm sorry, nothing comes close to this. Mm. It's so good, so good. So last time I was in a car and I was just sort of chatting, I was talking about Star Wars, and I got super off the rails and uh, lost track of what I was meaning on talking about. But ironically, the day I uploaded the Star Wars chat, not the day I filmed it, but the day I uploaded it, Disney had this big investor day meeting thing and they released all this news. First off, you got an Ahsoka Tano show. Ahsoka Tano is so badass. Set in the Mandalorian time. So there's the Mandalorian's timeline, which is after the OG trilogy. Some new show called Rangers of the Republic? Republic Rangers? I don't know. It's set in the Mandalorian timeline. It's probably gonna have, uh, I can't remember her name. Dune, I think is her last name. Uh, she's like a real tough lady. She is probably gonna be the lead of that show. Rangers, I think it's Rangers of the New Republic. So it's like once the Empire was defeated, even though they're still around in Mandalorian and sort of still trying to come back. That that will be a cool show. And but Ahsoka's show will be so badass. See a Jedi. Just haven't seen a Jedi like done justice, I feel like, in a bit. Like Ray had some moments, Kylo had some moments, but there just wasn't you know, in the prequels, there's Jedi all over the place. And I think maybe it was an, an appropriate, in the Clone Wars too, but an appropriate break from Jedi characters, but I'm sorry, lightsabers? I just spit literally everywhere. Are so badass. They are so badass. Oh, still pretty cold. Hard to get out of the straw. Yeah, like, I can't not want Ahsoka show. And Ahsoka's lightsabers are white, which is, I don't know. I don't know why. So badass. Like Rey at the end of Rise of Skywalker when she has that yellow staff lightsaber. That was so badass. We need more. I need more different colors. Blue and green are classic OGs, but give me a little different. Mace Windu's purple, legendary. I think Ahsoka's white might be the best lightsabers I've ever seen. But they announced those shows, and then they announced the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, which while I was talking about it, I talked about how I'd be so pissed if Anakin's character Hayden Christensen Christensen. Hayden, my boy Hayden. Hey boy, I call him. Hey day. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. But I was gonna be so upset and livid if he wasn't released really reference in that show because he's Obi's best friend. And oh, he's gonna be more than reference. They announced that he is returning. My mom was like, ooh, I don't know if that's very good. I don't, I didn't like him. Mom, you and me have been butting heads recently with the vlogs and now Hayden, Anakin, Skywalker. And I've had enough. She doesn't get how important he is to the story. And a lot of his acting is sadly was also due to writing. George Lucas isn't known for being a good writer. Have you listened to the like some of the early scripts of like the Indiana Jones movies and all of the Star Wars movies? They are cringy. They are so cringy. That's the only thing the new movies have going for them is that they're written better. But worse stories. But Kenobi, the Kenobi series, is set 10 years, 10 years after Anakin and Obi-Wan have their battle and you know, Obi-Wan's like, it's over Anakin, I've got the high ground. And Anakin 
it's like smoldering and you know he's like don't underestimate don't underestimate my power and then obi goes oh my god he says no 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 don't try it don't try it and then anakin goes and goes flipping and then obi goes and anakin goes and slides into some lava just a little bit not all the way just enough to get fully burned and obi-wan is you know i'm not going to say it completely correct but he was like you were the chosen one you were meant to bring balance to force not leave it in darkness and then anakin goes i hate you then obi-wan just devastated says you were my brother anakin you were like my brother anakin something like that and he goes i loved you It's over, Anakin. I've got the high ground. Don't underestimate my power. Says, no, no, no. Don't try it. You were the chosen one. You were meant to bring balance to force, not leave it in darkness. I hate you! You were my brother, Anakin. I loved you. So that's the last time those two have seen each other. And then Obi-Wan Kenobi series, 10 years later, and they said those boys are gonna meet up. That they, cause they made a comment like, people have been wanting to see that interaction. So I can't, that, the, if there's a lightsaber fight between those two in like the modern day where Darth Vader can like actually unleash hell, because that's the thing, the old series, the OG series, Darth Vader's very like intimidating, but he's very subtle and not like, like crazy until Rogue One, which is obviously a modern movie. That's why they could do it. Or he's just like, and those guys are just screaming. That was like almost straight out of a horror movie when Darth Vader shows up in that corridor in Rogue One. So to think we could get more of that Darth Vader, he's like that in the comics and um, and one of the animated series called Rebels. He's n he's no fun. He is absolutely hell on earth to deal with because Darth Vader is Anakin and Anakin's the most powerful Jedi ever. So to see him and Obi-Wan possibly square off is crazy. I wonder if there'll be some flashbacks so that Hayden can get some screen time without the helmet on because Darth Vader is in his suit all the time. Because he's gonna, he's reprising the role, obviously. He's returning to the role, which means he will be um, in the suit. Which could, he could just be like the Mandalorian. Mandalorian actor, like, hardly, doesn't ever, like, take his helmet off. So Hayden could, could do that, but. I don't know. I feel like. I feel like Star Wars fans true fans. You know, those that are like, oh, the prequels aren't that good, but like low-key when the prequels are on TV or like someone's like, ah, oh, maybe we should watch Star Wars. Or like, oh yeah, um, let's watch uh, Revenge of the Sith. Like, oh, it's garbage, but like, <laughs> let's watch every second of it and I'll quote most of it. I think those fans are going to probably want to want to, they're probably going to want to see Hayden. So I wonder if like flashbacks will be um, incorporated or, but the one thing that wasn't confirmed but I, I gotta believe it's there, is um, Qui-Gon, Liam Neeson, he's gotta be there. Liam Neeson lent his voice to the animated series a couple times, which means you know he's he's okay. Like, he's willing to come back. So that's like wild. And then there's a movie called Rogue Squadron that's coming out about pilots made by the Wonder Woman director, which I didn't realize that her dad was like a fighter pilot. I read this, her dad was a fighter pilot and then actually died, I think, in combat. All right, my uh, other camera died, so I'll, I'll, I won't make this too long. But that Patty Jenkins is directing that movie, and her father was a fighter pilot, died in service. You know, has a very like intimate relationship with like the life of a pilot. So that made me be like, ooh, that that movie's probably gonna be pretty damn good. And that like some of Rogue One, some of the best parts of Rogue One were like all the the people, the characters, the fighters, and like that that end sequence where like ah, they take the hammerhead thing and they're like. Poof. It's like the war, the war aspect of Rogue One, I think was like the coolest, even Solo. And Solo, when you see like Han in the early days, like enlisting, actually in the Empire, I believe. Yeah, right when he meets Chewbacca, that was badass. Like that kind of gritty like war scene. Like it's it's crazy. Cause that's the thing I think why 
people were okay with the break from Jedi and lightsabers and all that kind of stuff is you got to see like a real gritty side of Star Wars, which you don't really see that with the Jedi. The Jedi are very elegant, very blah, 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 very to the point of whatever they're doing. And the Empire, early days of the Empire, well, like what Mandalorian explores, the ending days of the Empire and early days of the High Republic where it's like both sides still have power and are sort of jarring. Like the Empire's refusing to die while the Republic is struggling to get going. And that's awesome. <laughs> that's no badass. Every episode of The Mandalorian is about, is so badass. Uh, I'm excited, the last one is next week and if he doesn't get baby Grogu back, I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do. God, he's so cute. He is so freaking cute. Oh wait, am I spoiling my gift in the background? <laughs> <laughs> I might. <laughs> Who cares? But yeah, and then they announced some High Republic show called, I think, The Acolyte, which is like, they said a suspense thriller or mystery thriller, but The Rise of the Sith, which is going to, I mean, Sith stuff. There's not enough Sith stuff in the Star Wars universe. That better be a show they're throwing my way. I'll pay the pretty price. Just give me, give me the show that's about the Sith, because the Sith are so nasty. Ugh, what's that song? Nasty, call me ja Janet if you're nasty. Nasty. Nasty girl. Don't mean a thing. I hurt my finger. <laughs> but yeah, that that will be super. Um... I don't know. I'm just so excited. I and I had to do a little video about it because I was just so blown away I was talking to my sister about it yesterday about how i couldn't believe i had i randomly decided to post a video of me talking about star wars had a few of my complaints love and complaints for the show just to find out this huge announcement that says all these different things about star wars coming including anakin's return which he's the most important character in the entire series so it was awesome i'm so super excited but Let's get back to the task at hand, which is the P. Terry's mukbang. The burger was delicious as always. My head's feeling a little bit better. I think my occasional yelling isn't um, helping it, but what can I say? <laughs> I'm pretty passionate. But I think the lemonade's actually been the most helpful. Chocolate shake, still pretty cold. Hard to get anything out of that straw. But yeah, that was, this is the, the P. Terry mukbang, mukbang, whatever Brett says it's called. And a mini, a mini uh, follow-up slash conclusion Star Wars talk about how excited I am about the things they're gonna do. Obi-Wan Kenobi series is gonna be crazy, awesome. They didn't say anything about the Boba Fett series, but like, whatevs, he's gonna be awesome. The Accolade series looks cool. Squadrons, Rogue Squadron, looks like it's gonna be a badass movie. I think that's the only movie they announce. Maybe Acolyte was a movie, but man, I'm so si excited. Rangers of the Republic, Ahsoka Tano. It's just, it's just so incredible. It's the most, honestly, honestly, it's the most wonderful time of the year. Peace. <laughs> May the force be with you, actually. <laughs>